A virtual carnival will not benefit thousands of ordinary Trinidad and Tobago citizens who are seasonally employed during the annual celebrations. This from Chairman of the National Carnival Commission, or NCC, Winston Gypsy Peters. Mr. Peters was a guest on TTT's Now Morning Show on Wednesday. He said the NCC will not host any shows, virtual or otherwise, for Carnival 2021, but instead will present 100 years of Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago. We don't have the shows, we don't have the leeway to put on these shows, mm -hmm. because these shows cannot be put on. Carnival is a contact sport. Carnival is something that needs to be peopled. Carnival is not something that you do with five people and because you put five people to perform, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And if we are not preventing anybody from doing that. Mm -hmm. What we are saying is that us doing that and spending the people's taxpaying money mm -hmm. does not benefit the wider Trinidad and Tobago in terms of profiteering, in terms of making a living off it. So we the NCC chairman added that while private entities were free to host their own shows, the NCC must adhere to government's mandate pander to everything that everybody brings to us. The people that are going to be displaced the most are the little people who need it the most and the people who can most afford it are the people who are going to be benefiting from it the most. We at, as, 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 as NCC and a part of the government cannot just think so narrowly. We have to think about everybody. So what we are doing is preserving what we have. We are utilizing what we have. Now there will be no carnival. And we are going to save all of that for 2022 and the wider need. Mr. Peters noted that TTT Limited would play a pivotal role in the NCC's 100 Years of Carnival presentation, which they would air in February.